I realized that I'm not excited by this. I'm not excited by this. And I'm definitely not excited by this. But I am excited by this. This man, Anthony Fantano, releasing his top 20 worst songs of the 2010s. And believe it or not, nothing is exciting me more than this list week. Realistically, okay, I care more about this man's opinion than anyone else's. What the melon says is final. However, I am curious to check out these songs myself as he goes along listing them off. And I'll give you guys my opinion on each of them. So let's get started. I'm really excited. This is going to be a very fun video to make. So reacting to Fantano's top 20 worst singles of the 2010s. Here we go. You're also going to hear a change in audio as I am now going to be using a microphone. And it is time for another edition of List Week. Starting things off at number 20, we have Allison Gold with Chinese food. <laughs> That was some big cringe right there. Okay. All right. I see you, Fantano. At number 19, well a track that has no catchy qualities to it whatsoever and is even more excruciating is AJR's I'm Ready. You know, what's sad about this song is I remember liking this song at one point, unfortunately. And then AJR made the click. I was like, what the hell is wrong with these guys? So uh, this song has definitely shrunk on me, unfortunately, because I did enjoy the cute little charm of it. But the, all of that's gone. It's all gone, man. I would have thought he would have picked one of the newer ones. But, you know, OK, I'm ready. All right. And gimmicky song that is The Chainsmokers with Selfie uh, or, excuse me, Hashtag selfie. Be See, uh, when he said chain smokers, the first thing that came on my mind is like something just like this, you know? Anything they came out with on their memories do not open, but I completely forgot about selfie. I can't even believe this song is real. When Jason's at the table, I kept him saying to look at me while he's with that other girl. Do you think he was just doing that to make me jealous? I will give this song one thing. It's not nearly as boring as something just like this. I would probably pick a different song. This song is obnoxious. And the fact that it has half a billion views on YouTube makes it double obnoxious, okay? But it is not as bad as something just like this, okay? Annoying is better than boring for me in a lot of cases. Still, I hate the chain smokers. They were one of the worst things to happen in the last decade. How could you be down with this track? This track is just a stereotype of, I guess, some girl that likes to go to dance clubs and take selfies. This song is actually really just an insult. But maybe what stings the most on this track, truly and honestly, is that if this song didn't hit, if this song didn't go as far as it did, maybe, just maybe this decade, we, we, we could have been spared the Chainsmokers. At number 17 on this list, we have the Black Eyed Peas with Where's the Love or hashtag Where's the Love. Are we seeing a trend here? People killing, people dying. I mean, it's not like it doesn't have a message, but this shit just is, is cringe. Man, come on, you can't just flash up images and expect people to feel shit, you know? What's no, What's next? What's number 16? <laughs> and speaking of politics and music, at number 16, we have 303 with My Dick. Oh, 303. Oh, shit. Wait a second. I know these guys. Yes, there was, they were categorized as crunk core. That's right. These guys fucking suck ass. Wow. That's a political song. It only gets worse from here, I guess. What's next, Fantano boy? And speaking of YouTube, at number 15, we have our friend, fr friend of the show, friend of the channel, one of the greatest creative minds on the internet of all time, Jake Paul, with 
It's every day, bro. Okay, see, I think I'm understanding some of the things of this list. It's almost like he's benchmarking a lot of these things. Because it's every day, bro, was definitely a benchmark of, of a horrible cultural... Uh, it was like a cultural breach in a way. It's almost like it started this horrible revolution of YouTubers making terrible music on Ironically. So far, this is a good list. I don't disagree with anything truly on here, so, all right. One more single at number 14, I Don't Want to Relive, is Vic Mensa and 93 Punks with Three Years Sober. Ah, what a horribly embarrassing transition into rock music for a rapper. And I don't really want to hear this song. I guess I gotta. The like-dislike ratio is literally on Vic Mensa's own channel. Even his fans aren't supporting this shit, okay? That's scary to me. I don't know what I'm in for. Okay, the beat's not bad. Oh, God. I think what really hurts me is that, like, I look at this and I'm like, wow. This could have been good. This could have been good if it avoided so many of the things it just happened to smash. I'm mostly including some really awful lyrics. Like, there's some, like, interesting things that could have been done here. But relatively, these lyrics are impossible to get behind. Holy shit, okay. I still like this better than Camp America, though. Either way, if punk music wasn't dead before, it certainly is now. All of this terrible music is really just sucking my soul away. At number 13, we have Kim Kardashian with Turn It Up, which is a really awful dance pop song. Huh. At number 12, we have another one of the most annoying songs of the decade, which comes from Eminem, the song Venom. Venom! I think this is the, yeah, I think this is, like, the music video for this is where he's, like, he finds, or someone finds his, uh, CD for Revival. Oh, God, someone's throwing away Revival. Oh, no. Nah. What a surprise. Oh, God, it's 360 million views. Jesus. Knock, knock, let the devil in, benevolent as I've ever been. Head is spinning, this medicine, screaming, lick, 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 medicine. Like, that's a great, like, we're talking about, like, flows, we're talking about rhymes, all right? That's slick as fuck, okay? But then we get to... I don't really think it's uh, describable. At number 11, we have the Ray Lynn song, God Made Girls, which is a disgustingly regressive country song about why God made girls. Can't properly judge this because all this fucking pop country sounds the same to me. Obviously, it's, and that's the thing is, I hate all of it. This song won't be playing at your next party, I'll tell you that. At number 10, we have who is uh, truly a king, a king, when it comes to uh, bad music this decade. Uh, that is Corey Feldman. Hey, the song let's go! Corey Feldman's Angelic to the Core was uh, truly a moment for music okay. this decade. And Corey Feldman, iconic. Iconic. You can't have a worse list without Koi Feldman. Preach to Melon. Go For It is one of the lead tracks off of that record. The sound cover also.
It's it truly is mind altering. Okay. <laughs> You know, there's something to be said that that is probably the worst song that will ever be like, like, like there's something about that that's just like, you gotta, you gotta respect just how bad it is. You just, you just gotta. At number nine. We have Neil McCoy with <laughs> Take a Knee, My Ass. <laughs> Who is this man? What 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 is his face? Not to make fun of anyone's appearance or anything, but this looks like a Photoshop from an episode of Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job. It's quite real. And our friend Neil McCoy is not too happy with uh, those sports stars kneeling during the anthem. <laughs> This is five million views. When I see somebody on TV take their stand on bended knee, whether it's on AstroTurf or grass, I think of those whose freedom was not free. And I say, take a knee, my ass. I'll stand up for the flag. I don't even want to get into this. But the whole idea behind this song makes me laugh a lot. At number eight on our list, we have a battle of the minds between two of the biggest forces in the world, much less music. Uh -oh. Mumble Rapper versus Lyricist from Vin J. If we're talking about sound and whatnot, this song, while it has, it's very cringe, it's very unlikable in concept, it almost is like masked behind the fact that the Mumble Rapper actually does substantially better than the Lyricist to where... I mean, yes, while that's completely the opposite of what the point was supposed to be, it does make it a somewhat listenable track. At number seven on our list, we have the La Tigra song, I'm With Her. Okay. Uh, very I remember him giving this, like, worst song of, I think, either 2017 or 2016. And I was too afraid to listen to it until now. <laughs> What's sad is if this song wasn't about Hillary Clinton, I could see myself liking it, say if it was about like something that wasn't Hillary Clinton. At number six, though, a track that uh, mentally makes even less sense, B.O.B. Uh, flatline. 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 Oh, God, I loved rap critics like criticism on this song. Like he did such a good job. And it's not just like on the song. I think it was like a worst lyrics thing. And he gave it to like a, this entire song. He broke down into it. But essentially, this song is horribly offensive. <sighs> At number five, we have another song about the earth. Lil Dicky, Earth. Okay, I'm surprised this isn't number one. In fact, I have to now assume everything above this is worse than Earth, and I think Earth is the worst song ever made. I have no clue what the hell can even be worse than this. At number four, we have Tom McDonald with White Boy. I know what White Boy is, okay? If you don't know what White Boy is, then you don't truly know the Fantano lore, okay? This song is incredibly bad. Nuff said. Number three. Number three on our list is uh, R. Kelly with <laughs> I Admit. Where the man literally <laughs> and pretty much lies his ass off for the entirety of the track about a bunch of shit yeah, it's a 20 that minute uh, he song. actually did oh and my God. Is, is now in jail. Number two on our list is all about the power of platforms like YouTube, giving independent content creators a voice uh -oh. and sometimes in a weird way, uh -oh. a short-lived, awful, terrible, garbage music career. Uh, your favorite Martian, transphobic techno, bitch got a penis. Okay, what, okay, so it's not doing your mom, all right? Unfortunately, it's not doing your mom. I don't even know what the hell this is, but let me say right now, I remember when Ray William Johnson was a thing, I remember when people were praising this horrible ass music thing, and I just remember listening to it, because people was like, oh yeah, you know, it's good, and just like being in shock at how bad it was. Bitch got a penis, 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 That was 55 
five seconds. That felt like it. That felt like a lifetime, dude. Jesus. Holy shit, that's bad. Wow. 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 Wow, that's bad. Wow. Okay, you know what? That might be actually worse than Lil Dicky, but I can't actually call that real music. I call that... What's, what's number one, Fantano? Put me out of my misery. And awful. There aren't words to communicate my level of disgust, which is why I guess I will move on to my number one spot, which is also disgusting and also uh, beyond words in some respects. And uh, that is Hobson with the track Happy Ending. Oh, which my God. Which if you God. remember back to the time when I gave this my worst song of the year, uh, how I described it was that it's a rap song about rapper Hobson going to an Asian massage parlor and getting a happy ending. See, this song truly defies all logic here. See, the one thing I remember about this song, if like it, it, it burned into my head, this song had an extremely racist instrumental. The the chorus of this song was extremely racist with the, hello, how you doing? I can give you good massage. But the one thing I definitely will not forget is him rhyming butt crack with nut sack. Ladies and gentlemen, this song truly is ass. So ass that I wouldn't give it a number one spot, truly. I think it's so ass, it's so bad, that that in a lot of respects, while I don't think there's really any irony to just how bad this song is, it is unenjoyable to every degree, it's not worse than Earth. And that was Fantano's list, of course, of his worst singles. Uh, you know, if you're gonna drop a like on my video, please also drop a like on his video. He spent a lot of time on his lists, and I just basically watched his lists and criticized him. Uh, not really. Because, of course, me and Fantano share brain cells. To be honest, this is all I'm really excited for. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.